Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is our market preview for the coming session. This is going to be for Thursday, September 5th, 2013. We had a, a pretty positive day across the board here today. This is the setup for the, uh, the ADP number that's coming out tomorrow. The ADP number is the uh, non-government non -government, uh, uh, hint and peek into what the non-farm number might be on Friday. That's going to be the big data. <clears throat> so the setup ahead of the, uh, the ADP, no ADP number was very positive. Uh, could be a bit of short covering uh, for sure, but definitely uh, a very positive day uh, across the board. So let's talk about uh, what the, uh, the market did today. As we introduced yesterday, we're doing a grading system. And today we had uh, the ES futures higher by uh, 14 and the NQ futures higher by uh, 42. So we had definitely positive price action, and we had the NASDAQ leading the S&P. NASDAQ leading the S&P on a relative performance basis is, uh, is always welcome. So we definitely have a uh, positive session here. So we're going to uh, give this a B plus. Uh, just, just a little bit short of an A, because the A, a, a level would, a would have required taking out some, uh, some key levels, which we didn't do yet. But definitely B plus on the uh, price action today. The other key thing to take a look at are the internals. Current session, we have plus 1,300 issues on uh, New York, which is uh, which is very very good. But uh, only plus uh, 800 issues on Nasdaq. Would like to see some some broader uh, participation from the Nasdaq, especially seeing the uh, seeing the outperformance. So for uh, the market internals today. Uh, along with the uh, trend taken into uh, consideration, we're, we're only going to give the, uh, give the give this a B minus. So it was good, but not great. We'll have liked to see some more participation, a little more breadth out of the uh, out of the Nasdaq side of the market. All right, so here's a look at the uh, ES futures and daily bars. Uh, you can see that we took out uh, the previous day's high, made a new high close. That all figures into the mix of a, of a strong day. We uh, did not take out the uh, six ace level or that uh, that 50 DMA. We did close the gap that was left open. That was our, our trade two target. So we got to there. We're finding resistance kind of where we expected. So they didn't really attempt to push this thing up any higher. So these levels are going to be the levels to watch tomorrow. 1660 here on the ES on the upside. And then above that, we've got this gap window that's going to come in at about... Uh, 1668 to the downside. The day's low is going to be important from today's section. 1634, and then below that, the key level at 1625. So the market so far has retreated and used that uh, that 1625 level, and we're getting up here into the uh, <coughs> into this uh, into this area. We're going to start counting up here, looking for that seeker exhaustion. I just put on, put on the projection mode. We're 12 days up, but again, we're going to have to get above this 8 here to record our 13. So there's plenty of room before uh, we get back up there. And if we do record that 13, it's going to be a retest of the prior high somewhere in this 8 ace level. So that's going to be very critical in a very uh, stubborn area if the market gets up there. Take a look at the NASDAQ here. Here's the NASDAQ. Got up into that 8 ace area. Back into this area, took care of this little floating island. This gap is now closed. Didn't make a new high on the move or a new high close, but we're close. Uh, if we do do that, the levels to watch are going to be the old high here at uh, 3146, 3147, and then the uh, and then the risk level from the secret exhaustion is going to come into play at the plus one eighth level at 3146. To the downside, near term support is going to be 3086. And then below that, the active um, 6 a line here, which also co coincides with the uh, 50 DMA, is going to be very important at 3,047. Here's a look at the, the uh, cumulative advanced declines. Positive on both sides. The ES side was pretty good. NASDAQ side is starting to curl back up here, but uh, still below. Uh, the breakdown level we're still in this uh, in this negative range with this negative bias one more update is going to break that and then potentially put this uh, this regression channel back into play which would be very important and very welcome to the uh, to the Nasdaq bulls for sure but uh, we need to see a little broader base participation which we're not seeing just yet. 
Here's the Sox versus the NDX, which has uh, been in a real negative condition here. You want to see the Sox really sh uh, show some leadership. That's always very uh, positive for the overall market, especially the NDX. So a really good performance today, something to build on here. See if we can break out of this uh, out of this downtrend that we've been in. I'm going to snap a regression channel on this just for fun. And you can see that we've been in this in this downtrend here. And we're going to going to need to get some follow through above this and uh, just to claim this a little bit more. And then we're going to have a positive bias here on this key ratio. Uh, this is really done in just this one day here. You can see the big spurt we had here. One more day of positive um, performance from the Sox is going to be really important and follow through above this breakout. So we're going to keep track on this. And then what we want to see is we want to see this this key level taken out. This is uh, a little bit easier to see on the weekly chart, which I'm going to flip to right now. This is this breakdown area here. We swept above it up here, but couldn't get uh, enough mustard to really kind of get this rolling again. We broke down here, made a lower low. But right now we're potentially rolling back up here, which would be really important to the market and really indicate that the that the market and the economy does have some uh, some real strength. Here's a look at the individual sectors ranked from best to worst. Socks, top gun by a good margin, plus two and a half percent on the day. There was some news today, uh, but uh, definitely uh, affected them positively. If we could follow through tomorrow and not just have some little uh, waste of a resting day and the potential reversal, we're good to go. Got to see some follow through, and that remains to be seen. BTK, other key so uh, NASDAQ uh, sector, very strong on the day, plus 2%. The uh, Internet Index, plus uh, just a little less than 2%. Another good uh, good day there. Utilities, another poor, another poor performance there at the bottom of the list. Housing sector continues to lag, which is uh, a cause for concern. The XAU, still a source of funds, not really doing too much in the... Uh, the oil names were also fer fairly weak on the day relative to the uh, performance overall. All right, here's a look at the Sox, which was the top gun on the day. You can see that we got up here and we took a shot at that 50 DMA. We closed above it, but it doesn't mean anything until we follow through above it. If we follow through above that, we're going to put the 7 8 level and then possibly this 8 8 level of 500 in play. Key support remains at this uh, 5 ace level, which is in the area of the low close and this pivot here at 453. BTK was uh, plus 2% on the day, nudged, nudged up above this 8 ace level. Next big level to come into play is going to be the static trend line, which is coming in at about 2170. Utility index was uh, the last laggard on the day, but uh, we did kind of recoup this thing. We traded the zero ace level and did close essentially flat on the day, only down about uh, one handle on a $400 index, so that's not a big deal. This could be uh, potentially setting up a double, double bottom here. Have to see if that happens. If that doesn't happen, we're going to probably going to wind up running the full course of the uh, 13 uh, days down on the uh, seeker, potentially uh, breaking this lower low. This really needs some more work here. Still a down day with range expansion followed by another down day for now. XAU was just kind of nowhere today, still below the 10 EMA and in this little this little mini range for now. Key support is at 4 ace at the 100 level. And a breakout and a close above the uh, 10 EMA would turn this uh, key index back to short term positive. Here's a look at the housing index. We've been down here gaming this uh, risk level from the seeker. The seeker came into play here for the exhaustion. It spent a lot of candles, didn't reverse itself yet. Usually after we get about 12 or 15 candles along into the uh, into the signal, if it doesn't reverse, reverse itself, we consider the signal null and void, which is definitely the case here. But nonetheless, this is a very key area. We're still holding on to that for now. But uh, all three time frames remain to the downside. It's a long-term negative, short-term negative, and intermediate negative for now. BKX, basically an inside day. Really wasn't that strong. The banks were uh, trying to get something going, but really didn't have anything to show for it. Still, uh, still negative on a short-term basis, being below the uh, 10 EMA. 
key support here at 62.50. Resistance is the 50 DMA coming in about 64 and a half. Let's take a look at uh, front month crude here. Here's front month crude on the day. Just kind of grinding here. Still not able to take out uh, the risk level here from the seeker exhaustion. So right now we're still in this mini range. Probably not going to uh, bust out of this until we get either a, a strong number or a weak number at, from the, uh, the non-farm payrolls or get some other kind of news out of the, uh, out of the Middle East. Uh, gold futures on the day. Kind of did this uh, cover-up candle. We had a strong candle the day before. Weak candle today. For now, uh, still barely hanging on to short-term positive, but but positive nonetheless. Could be a rest here, but we don't want to lose the low from two days ago at about 1384. All right, folks. Remember, tomorrow morning is the uh, is the ADP number. That's the setup for the uh, non-form number at the end of the month. So we'll have to see how this plays out. Potentially could get a good move off of that, and we're ready for it. We did see volume pick up to a degree today, so let's see what they have for us tomorrow. If they uh, have a good number, we've got some good sectors to look at, and a weak number, you know what to look at as well. All right, folks, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.